welcome to Miami on a hot summer Saturday in South Florida. We're at Barry University, all set to have some fun with the Celebrity Softball Challenge, a great way to kick off All-Star Week in the city that's hosting the MLB All-Star Game on Tuesday. So excited to be with you. Tom James alongside Will Manso, a couple of baseball legends, Will. Steve Garvey, Jose Canseco leading their respective star-studded teams. It should be lots of fun, lots of action, and some shenanigans as well. I think we can expect a little bit of all the above, including some sweat. We're going to put the sweat in Celebrity Sweat. It is hot today, but we're here for a great cause. All those guys that you mentioned, including many more, we're going to meet in a moment here. These are guys that are athletes. We know that. They play in football, basketball, different sports. I don't know, though, how they play softball, and I think the shenanigans come for when they step on the field to try to swing a bat. That should be the fun part, no question. The 13th annual Celebrity Softball Challenge, Celebrity Sweat, of course, involved. It does kick off the MLB All-Star Game weekend, comprised of your pro athletes and your celebrities, and, of course, the great causes, Mission 22, Canines for Warriors, and a number of local charities as well. Well, let's meet the third member of our broadcast crew, Jake Newlander. Newlander. He is down on the field with a special guest. Hey, guys, I'm here with Steve Garvey, captain of the blue team. Steve, you've been in our events, you know, for the last 13 years. Sure. What is it about the events that, you know, makes you want to keep coming back? Well, it's about family. And it's also about, you know, each new city, you know, the celebrities and entertainers coming together for, for great causes, uh, celebration of, uh, of what you do best, and that's get back. Hey, it's all about giving back here. You know, we're here supporting the Midnight, tw Midnight Mission, tw Mission 22, Canines for Warriors. I mean, we have a bunch of great causes here. Now, Steve, what can we expect from the game today from your team? Well, you know, with these basketball and football guys, they used to say in coach, well, we're managers. So we told them, call a skipper. We'll see how often that happens today. But again, it's a spirit of competition. Tell the guys, you know, just stay within yourselves, have fun, put on a good show. It's all about the entertainment. Entertainment is what's going to be a lot of today, and we're going to have an unbelievable time right here at the game. Guys, back to you. We're live in Miami. Team Canseco versus Team Garvey. The Celebrity Softball Challenge is next. Celebrity Sweat takes you behind the scenes to see how your favorite athletes and celebrities train. Hi, me, Van der Holyfield, you Watching Celebrity Sweat. Hey, I'm Jason Priestley, and you're watching Celebrity Sweat. Yo, this is Terry Crews, and you are watching Celebrity Sweat. Learn from the pros. Check out recipes and training techniques at csweat.com. Get motivated, inspire others, and jumpstart your workouts and healthy lifestyle today. Celebrity Sweat provides high energy workouts, training tips, celebrity fitness secrets, and recipes from the stars. Go to csweat.com today. It's been an incredible day with these amazing pilots. Yo, what's up, guys? It's your boy Brandon Michael Smith, and we're hanging out with Celebrity Sweat. I'm Chris Humphreys, and you're watching Celebrity Sweat. Hey, this is Flex Alexander. I'm Shanice. And, and you're, you're watching, watching Celebrity Sweat. Sweat. Follow us on social media and check out csweat.com. What if we pull customer insights from the data in real time? Wait, our data center and our clouds can't connect? Michael, can we get this data to... Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. You used to be the yes guy. What happened to that guy? Legacy technology can handcuff any company. But yes is here. So you're saying we can cut delivery time? Yeah. With help from HPE, we can finally work the way we want to. With the right mix of hybrid IT, everything computes.
beautiful Miami, Florida on a hot July day. There is downtown Miami. We are at Barry University. Perfect day for the 13th annual Celebrity Softball Challenge, all part of MLB All-Star Weekend. I'm Tom James alongside Will Manso, Team Garvey versus Team Canseco. Will, a couple of guys in Jose Canseco and Steve Garvey who have spent a lot of time in All-Star Games. Yeah, what's interesting, too, is uh, you heard Steve Garvey say it earlier about managing. Uh, you want to manage these guys properly on what to do, but I think what you really want to do is just manage their fun. Just say, hey, go have a good time. And Garvey mentioned that. I think that's the, the key today. Go out there, have a good time for a great cause, have some fun. But there is competition involved, and if this game is close or in the third, fourth inning, you wonder how much those competitive juices get going. All right. Jake Newlander is the third member of our team. He is down on the field with a special guest. Jake? Hey, guys. I'm here with Kazzy, one of the world's best actor and stuntmen. I'm Jake. We're here at the Celebrity Sweat, 13th annual softball game. It's going to be an unbelievable time. We're out here in beautiful Miami. Kazzy, how are you feeling about today's game? Hot. Nice, yeah, today's and a nice and humid out here today. Beautiful day. It's going to be an unbelievable time. Yes, we got some good weather. However, it's good that it doesn't rain today. How do you think about that? Well, I heard that we might have a rainstorm this morning, but it looks like it passes over, so that's a good thing. You know, never, never fun to play baseball in the rain. That's true. Now, Kezzy, with all the gigs you've done, you know, you've done tons and tons of gigs. Which one's most memorable and which one stands out in your head the most? It's like asking a mother which one of her children is the favorite. <laughs> but uh, you want me to find one in my head? It's a good one for you. Um, one time I was riding my motorcycle across the country, doing a cross-country trip, and I got called by my agent, and he told me that I had booked a role that left the next day at a LAX, Los Angeles Airport, was flying to South Africa to film a series of car commercials. And, of course, I was on my motorcycle halfway across the country, and I thought, I'm going to get my bike back. So I turned around, and I started riding back towards Los Angeles. I rode 1,000 miles without stopping. I'm going to stop for gas because the tank's only so large. But, yeah, 1,000 miles in a row, and I uh, got back, and I was so sore my back, butt, and then of course I got on an airplane, flew basically about the longest flight in the world from Los Angeles all the way to South Africa nonstop in a middle seat because <laughs> it was a last second flight and all they had left was middle seats. Flow all the way there and get off the airplane and I'm supposed to be playing a superhero Cupid. The whole time for a week I have to be hung up on, on wires and flying above a car as I'm flying around shooting these, you know, these crossbows. I get off the airplane and I had, my shoes had come untied on the air flight and literally for however many hours they were on tie and I couldn't bend over to tie them because after riding for 24 straight hours on my motorcycle and then getting on a 14 hour flight, I got off the airplane and they had booked me out of Los Angeles, flew me 10,000 miles to play a superhero. I got off the airplane going, they had, they had the sign hold up, you know, with my name, you know, the limo driver and then the producer was there waiting for me and I come up and I'm like, hi. And they're like, Mr. Churg, you know, and I, yeah, I shook their hand and they're like, and I was like, can, can you, can you do me a favor and can you tie my shoes for me? I couldn't bend over and tie my own shoes. And they're thinking, I think we might've got the wrong guy here. <laughs> and of course, for the next week, I had to be hung up on wires by a harness that went around my crotch and held up in the air like that all week long. And oh man, I was crying the whole week from doing stunts, you know, jumping off the top of a building where I had to slide down on top of a car on the, you know, the streets of, of South Africa right there in Johannesburg. And I was already black and blue, but then having to hold all my body weight up 290 pounds by my crotch all week. I don't know if I've ever been so bruised in my life. <laughs> well, that sounds like a crazy time. Well, today's going to be not as strenuous as that, but it's going to be a great time. And, uh, you know, we're looking forward to seeing it. Guys, back to you. Ball a long <laughs> way today, Will, but that's a guy with the, the, the big beard yeah. in this heat. So He's a guy that I do not envy. That was quite a story, by the way. Should we should do this broadcast uh, dangling from the air, from the sky, from one of these <laughs> tents here. See how sore we are in two hours. But he's a big guy. And you see the tan he's got? He mentioned he's oh, been yeah. in South Florida a few days. He's already working on that tan. I think a lot of these guys are going to be dealing with the heat issues. We've got some sweat issues going with these shirts as Absolutely. well. It's going to be a hot, steamy day. Yeah, the rain, if it happens to come today, might cool things off yep. just a little bit. Now Jake has got one of the team captains, Jose Canseco. Guys, I'm here with Captain of the Yellow Team, Jose Canseco. Jose, how are you feeling today? Feeling great. Great weather. Wind's blowing out, and hopefully we can hit a lot of home runs. Looks like we got some pretty decent softball, so it's going to be fun. It's going to be a great day today. Now, you know, it's going to be a great match between Team Canseco, Team Garvey. Now, what can we expect from your team today, and, and how are you guys going to win? Well, first of all, we got to figure out the lineup. we got a whole, whole bunch of new players. Um, I think we're just going to hit home runs. We're going to be the Oakland A's of today, and they just went on home runs, so we're just going to hit home runs. 
hey, home runs really, really, really help you win, and that's what we're, you guys are going to do today. Let me ask you a question. So, you know, you're in such great shape for your age, and, you know, now that you're not playing in the MLB anymore, you know, how do you keep yourself in such great shape? God, I stay involved with doing a home run competition, softball, baseball, a charity prime golf events, um, uh, bowling, uh, the whole combination. So I stay in shape, still work out three to four times a week. And, uh, and I truly believe that an MLB baseball player, even an ex-baseball player, should represent the game and stay in shape. Yeah, staying in shape is very important, you know, with the vigorous schedule. And let me ask you, how important is sleep also in that, in that you know, that whole regimen? Well, you got to sleep to recover. I don't sleep a lot. I sleep about maybe six, seven hours max. So I think everyone's completely different. But definitely, you have to sleep. Sleep's important. Everyone watching this at home, make sure you get your sleep. Guys, we're going to have an unbelievable time today. Back to you. Great. Does Jose look? It looks like he yeah. could still play. He's ripped right well, now. Well, we both were sitting here working in the pregame. We saw him walk up. We said, holy cow, yeah. Jose looks like he can still hit the ball. And if he wants to hit the ball today, I'm assuming he'll put on a show and still hit it a long way. But, yeah, stay in shape. Uh, we could use some tips on that. There's no doubt about that. Stay in shape. Some star-studded rosters, and we take a look at the roster, starting with Team Canseco. And uh, a lot of big names there, a couple of Dolphins players, the Miami Heat players and guys from all over the NFL. Yeah, Hassan Whiteside's the one that I'm interested to see being a guy that's around uh, South Florida in the heat. Uh, Hassan is a big man, seven feet tall. He's a center who bounces it inside. He's got that big contract as well. I know Hassan is nimble. He loves to run the fast break as a big man now and then. How he hits a softball to be seen, you see a trio of Dolphins there in the middle, including a newly signed Lawrence Timmons coming over after a long career in Pittsburgh. So we've got a lot of good guys here, a lot of local connections. And how about musicians? Uncle Luke in the house expected here today. Uh, Uncle Luke is here. And how about uh, Team Garvey? Steve Garvey's crew as we take a look at the roster from Team Garvey. And you talked about uh, a big contract. There's a guy on there who has just signed a massive contract. Dion Waiters buying lunch for everyone. That's what I'm saying. He <laughs> just signed a $52 million deal, four years to remain for the Miami Heat. He's a great story. Talk about being in shape. You heard Jake talking about the rest and being in shape. He reconditioned his body to be in the best shape of his career, had the best season of his NBA career, and it's been rewarded with a $52 million contract. How about the guy below him? Jarvis Landry, one of the more popular guys in South Florida. I think one of the more underrated players in the NFL. He has the most receptions in NFL history, tied with Odell Beckham Jr., ironically enough, his former teammate at LSU. Most receptions in the first three years of the NFL career, and he's waiting on a big contract. So you see some of the names there, more Dolphins. How about Jason Jackson from Heat TV and uh, radio as well? Jax does a great job. He says he hasn't swung a bat in four years. So that's something to look forward to today. Well, it ought to be good. He needs to get warmed up for this crew. All right. We are just about ready for action. Just about time to play ball. Team Canseco and Team Garvey, the Celebrity Softball Challenge, is next. I like your hair. I like yours too. Can I have some? It's not cool to ask that. Thanks, Captain Obvious. Online dating isn't always rewarding, but Hotels.com is. Instant savings now, free nights later. Hotels.com. Sold! Next up for auction, we have the Miller family. The kids, social security numbers, the mother's maiden name. Let's start the bidding up at 200. Who can be tuned into Your information could be out there, just waiting to be auctioned off on the dark web. But now there's Experian. We monitor the dark web globally and let you instantly protect your Experian credit file from identity thieves. Plus, get up to $1 million in identity theft insurance. Try Experian free for 30 days at Experian.com slash protect.
Welcome to Miami for the 13th Celebrity Softball Challenge. And we are just about ready for play. Celebrity Sweat, it's Team Canseco versus Team Garvey. We're at Buccaneer Field here at Barry University in Miami. Tom James alongside Will Manso. The sun is shining bright and it is awfully hot out here, Will. <laughs> A lot of sweat already so far. We're seeing these guys sweat it up again for a great cause. And what we're seeing, too, is uh, to see how athletic these guys are. As we're watching in warm-ups, it's been interesting to see the throwing motions. You know, throwing a softball is not quite like throwing a football. Swinging a baseball bat is not quite like anything else. So seeing these guys do this so far has been interesting. Uh, Hassan Whiteside has gotten my attention. Put it this way. I'm going to predict right now, Tom, Hassan Whiteside will make some sort of fielding error at some point in this game. <laughs> Just as long as he doesn't do it on the court, doing it out here, yeah. that's just fine. Pat Riley, Eric Spolster are fine with that. Yeah, get that out of the way today, says Pat Riley. And a lot of pictures being taken, a lot of great fans here enjoying the opportunity to, to get up close and personal with so many great stars from both sports and the entertainment world. And what's cool is seeing the kids out, and every time you have an event like this, obviously we talked about the great calls it's for, we talked about these guys having fun, but it's the smile of the faces. I've seen about three or four different Hassan Whiteside shirts. As you would expect being here in South Florida, being in Miami, you're going to see a lot of Heat fans and a lot of Dolphin fans. But you've seen a lot of those, and when they see Jarvis Landry, who's one of the biggest stars right now in South Florida sports here, Dolphins wide receiver, I think that's the fun in it, the smiles that you see, and you mentioned the beautiful day. Yes, it's hot, but you know what? So far, so good with the rain, and we're okay with that. We're undercover. We have a breeze. No complaints so here. It is all good for us. Team Garvey is in the blue. Team Canseco in the yellow, and Team Garvey will bat first. And to lead it off, Billy Blanks creator of Tybo. Here's a guy who should have no problem as far as staying in shape and uh, being okay with this heat, but can he swing? We'll see right now. Carlito with the pitch, and this is popped up third base side, and the catch is made. Shout out to Zipper in there, making a nice grab, uh, showing it off like, a, you know, I mean, it'd be like a, like a fair catch in football, so to speak, right? Coming down, and, and he made the nice grab, called it, and got it. The Tennessee Titans safety, Jonathan Cyprian, showing some nice form. And a quick hit, and a great play by Jose Canseco on the Trent Land hard shot to short. Now, you and I joked pregame when we were looking over the notes. We said, can Canseco still move? He looks the part, but can he move? Well, he just showed some quickness there and grabbing that liner. That was hit hard. Now, here's the guy. I saw Shane Battier in the locker room pregame, and he said, you know what? I'm an athlete. I can do this. I don't want to embarrass myself. Well, Shane Battier, what a life. Played it. College basketball, obviously, for Coach K at Duke, won a national championship. He's got a great job now with the Miami. He's the director of development and analytics, and I don't know if there's anyone more analytical than Shane. You mentioned his education at Duke. One of the brightest guys you'll ever meet. Forget about athletes, just people in general. No question. He is. Uh -oh. Did he just strike out? He did strike out. You're not going to see too many of those today. Can, can, we get, so. can we get four strikes on Shane? Oh, no. That's all she wrote. If you're going to make fun of Shane Battier, he can just show you his national championship ring and the two NBA championship rings with the Miami Heat. He's going to drop off analytics how a strikeout yeah. isn't that big of a deal. <laughs> He's good. He's good. We'll take a break. At Barry University, the Celebrity Softball Challenge rolls on. Team Canseco coming to bat. You guys going to the game? Yeah! Room for one more? You sure this is the way to the game? It's a shortcut. I guess I get warmed up. Land Rover is a proud sponsor of baseball on ESPN.
Tybo creator Billy Blanks on the mound. And he will pitch for Team Garvey as Team Canseco comes to bat. And leading it off, Sam Young, the Dolphins tackle. Here's a guy whose job is to protect Ryan Tannehill. So we know he's got a tough job right there, having to keep him upright. Can he keep upright and hit a baseball or a softball? Well, there you go. There's our answer. And he puts one into shallow right, and the catch is made. That was quite a grab out there. We don't have the roster. Let's see, who, who made that catch? Take a guess. We don't have a number 11. We don't have a number 11, do we? we got well, we've got all our numbers. Right Remember, now. we had some late additions, so we're still uh, – which they're still coming in, but whoever just made that catch, made a, nice little, made a nice little grab. Who's your favorite player here in the field? Yeah, I like side. All right, Walt Akins, the Dolphins' cornerback, steps in. Going to watch a couple of pitches from Blanks go wide. Jose Canseco on deck, and Akins. Flies one to shallow left, and Kazzy is under it for the catch. Well, Kazzy, you know, he, he talked pregame about hanging down for, for hours on a trip in South Africa while filming something. Well, he just had to wait for that one to hang down and make the grab there. And actually, looked very athletic making that play. Sure. I, I got to say. Speaking here, here, comes, of here comes trouble. This is trouble. Everybody play back. I feel like uh, Deion Waiters and Cassie need to go a little bit deeper out there in left and left center. I feel like Jose Canseco is going to give us one highlight reel today. How would you feel if you're Billy Blank? So you're 15 feet away from a slugger throwing a little soft pitches. I think I'd want to get behind that net. <laughs> Canseco waiting for the pitch he likes, taking one way inside. Can he just put up the four fingers like they have in Major League Baseball now in the intentional walk? Billy wants no part of him. Yeah. He wants no part. Look at Jose. Jose's like, I'll, I'll, I'll sit here all day. Just give me one. He's bouncing him in there. Oh, boy. That's the one. Deep to left field. Is it enough? It's gone. There's your show. There's your show. And the flip of the bat from Jose. Can't say co. Our answer, can he still hit home runs, uh, is yes. He even gets a high five. A high five from Shane Battier. A little high five from Jarvis Landry. You know, say what you want Jason about Canseco, and plenty has been said over the years, but the one thing he always has been is an entertainer, and he's been entertaining to watch. He did it in his major league career. And for the people that came out here today, you wanted to go home and said, I saw Jose Canseco hit a home run, and then you saw it today. Obviously a member of the famous Bash Brothers. In oh, the Bay Area, right boy. back at Billy Blanks goes Jonathan Cyprian. Uh-oh. So, and that was for nothing, too, because there was a baseball on the, there was a softball on the field. Jarvis Landry was trying to get it, and they were trying to call time. So no play. So Cibrian just nails uh, Blanks, who looks like he's fine, by the way. Big smile on Blanks' face. Yeah, big big bruise, too, I think, by come, uh, come Sunday morning. He's not sure he wants to pitch to Cibrian again. Well, that was my fear with Conseco. You're standing for one of the most feared sluggers in baseball history about 20 feet away. This, he's not exactly up on the, on the mound. All right, Jonathan, this is where you got to hit it somewhere other than the pitcher. Swing and a miss from Jonathan Cyprian. A little, a little redemption. If he strikes him out, it was worth the hit on the knee. Absolutely. Cyprian, of course, went to college not too far from here. Played his college ball at FIU. Yeah, always good to see those guys from FIU. FIU is a program that got started very late. Oh, they just called a strike. So he got his revenge, a strike looking. He still makes FIU proud. And he's having words with the umpire. <laughs> you can't argue balls and strikes. And that is the end of the first inning. That will take us to a break. Jose Canseco with the big shot so far. The big home run to left. And they lead it 1-0. Who is the suave man? The suave man has curly hair, straight hair, long hair, short hair. The suave man is every man, and every man's hair needs are different from a woman's. Men's hair is oilier. There is less of it, and men are 31% more likely to say they have scalp issues. So whether you've got a brush cut, a bowl cut, or a never-do-that-again cut, whether you're a mohawk man, a faux hawk man, or a no-hawk man, if you're a man and you have hair, use suave for men. Shampoo and styling for every man.
Eric the Trainer and welcome to Celebrity Sweat. Celebrity Sweat takes you behind the scenes to see how your favorite athletes and celebrities train. We talk to the stars about eating habits, training techniques, and we inspire people of all ages to live healthy lives. Hi, this is Big John McCarthy with the one and only Nene, superstar basketball player in the NBA. What's up, guys? I'm James Maslow. And I'm Jason Doring. And you're watching Celebrity, Celebrity Sweat. Sweat. What's up, guys? Standing here with the man himself, Le'Veon Bell. Um, I do leg lift, a leg lift crunch. Check out the Celebrity Sweat store at csweat.com and watch for weekly training tips and recipes from your favorite stars. Go to csweat.com to experience great fitness and nutrition today. Hi, I'm Billy Blanks. I'm here with the Miami Heat dancers, and we're about to do some Tybo on Celebrity Sweat. Sweat. What's up, guys? This is Uriah Hall, UFC middleweight contender. Adam Pacman Jones. Hi, I'm Johnny Bench, and you're watching Celebrity Sweat. You're watching Celebrity Sweat. We're back live in Miami. Jose Canseco still feeling good about that big home run. And let's go down to Jake with a special guest. Thanks, guys. I'm here with Billy Blanks, pitcher, Tybo creator, fitness guru, a legend, icon, you name it. Billy, unbelievable job that first inning. How'd it feel? Felt good, man. We were warming up nice, and, uh, you know, Seiko got a home run on me, but, you know, outside of that, I got everybody else out. He's got a mean swing, but, hey, you'll get him next time. No worries. Keep it going, and, uh, and let's see how the next inning goes. You got it. See y'all later. Guys, back to you. And Dion Waiters at the plate right now for Team Garvey. Yeah, we have our mystery solved. In the first inning, we saw a guy at second base make a good grab. We had the wrong number down. He was actually originally listed as 21. He's number 11. So our answer, our mystery is solved. Dion Waiters is your second baseman. Already made a big grab. Now at the plate. And he's got, uh, the, the, look at this, we got umpire confusion in the first inning and a half. Yeah, we've had a couple of conversations between player and umpire. Dion doesn't look happy. Yes, Dion. Dion just signed the $52 million no, deal. Me, yeah. Dion right now is very happy. A four-year, $52 million deal just signed in recent days with the Miami Heat. Well, he doesn't look happy. Apparently, did they bat out of order, or what is going on here? Did they call him out? He, he called out. Now you got Jarvis Landry up. Let's give it up. So Jarvis Landry. Steps in, and one of the most popular players. Oh, I the see. There, there's a no selfie rule apparently here. Look at Jarvis. And Landry pops one foul over the dugout. I, apparently, there's a no selfie rule. You cannot take selfies or Snapchat, which means Hassan Whiteside's never going to get in at bat because he's going to be Snapchatting the entire game if he's not already. <laughs> Didn't you mention he is just about 24 7 Snapchat? Put it this way I know that he was at the beach yesterday, and uh, the day before, he was playing video games. And how about Jarvis Landry? And Landry into the gap in left. Juice, slow down at third, Juice. We need you this and year. Oh, no, he's going to bring it all the way home. And a high step as he crosses the plate. And an inside the park home run for Jarvis Landry. You want to talk about money as well? Uh, in the pregame, we talked about that he's a guy who's got the most receptions in NFL history. Actually, through the first two seasons, he's all alone. Most receptions in NFL history. 288 through his first three is tied with his former LSU teammate, Odell Beckham Jr., and he's electric on the football field, and go figure, he's electric on the baseball diamond as well. And here is Jason Jackson. Not bad, Jax. My colleague from Hate TV and the Fox Sports broadcast, and he does a great job for them, and he goes out and he gets a base hit. He told me he hadn't swung a bat in four years, so I'm proud of him there. That was his first swing in four <laughs> years, and he comes up with a bloop single to the left. Jason Jackson. Of course. I'm sure he's looking for another Birdman interview. He Chris loves, Anderson. He, he may get it. But, oh, look oh at and what a stab by uh -oh, Canseco. Uh -oh. Jax, Jacks, Jacks, nimble Jax with the dive back. When we talk about Canseco's quickness, he's got it, Tom. He's, he's, that, he snatched that one turn, pivot, and almost got Jax doubled up. Right off the top of the blade of grass right there at short. Great play. But Jackson got back just in time not to get doubled up. Well, Cassie's got the walk-up swing. Oh, that's an inside the park. Cassie run. going opposite way, and nobody home out there. Wait a minute, he may catch up to Jax. Jax, hurry up, Jax. Oh, Jax is still, Jax, Jax is lumbered, lumbered. He's having to wait on it. Bumbling. Oh, Cassie's pushing it. We're going to have a play at the plate. Oh, and he got hit the right hey. off well, of let's Cassie's make sure head. He's, let's make sure he's OK. It looked dramatic. Let's make sure Jose well, can say go throws a baseball. Cassie's scratching it a little bit. He's, Taking one in the noggin. 
We're not going to joke because I want to make sure he's okay, but he is a stunt man. He's probably taken a lot of falls and hits in his in his lifetime. This is true. He is a stunt man. Yeah, so we'll see if he's okay. I'm sure they'll get the I'm sure the medical staff will check him out and make sure because a, a softball coming from a Jose Canseco to your head is not fun. No. He's still touching it, so we'll, we'll get you an update on Cassie. Almost, we want to make sure he's okay. Almost reminds you of the time that Jose Canseco took one off the head. It ended up being a home run. You remember that famous that play? That may be the most famous play of his career. Of all the great things he did, that might be the most uh, famous thing. A little chopper towards third. Oh. Trail roll, slow to run on it. And gets oh, thrown at it off. first. I'll be honest Whoa. with you, I thought it was a phantom tag, but the umpire again. And that'll, that'll do it for the half inning here in Miami. Another special guest to join us when we come back live Celebrity Softball Challenge. Why make something this commanding? Why create something that turns every arrival into an entrance? It's simple. You can build a car or you can build a Cadillac. Our 18 year old was in an accident. When I call USA, that's where I felt relief. The experience was very focused on family. We're the Rivera family, and we will be with USAA for life. Celebrity Sweat takes you behind the scenes to see how your favorite athletes and celebrities train. Hi, me, Van der Holyfield, and you're watching Celebrity Sweat. Hey, I'm Jason Priestley, and you're watching Celebrity Sweat. Yo, this is Terry Crews, and you're watching Celebrity Sweat. Learn from the pros. Check out recipes and training techniques at csweat.com. Get motivated, inspire others, and jumpstart your workouts and healthy lifestyle today. Celebrity Sweat provides high energy workouts, training tips, celebrity fitness secrets, and recipes from the stars. Go to csweat.com today. It's been an incredible day with these amazing pilots. Yo, what's up, guys? It's your boy Brandon Michael Smith, and we're hanging out with Celebrity Sweat. I'm Chris Humphries, and you're watching Celebrity Sweat. Hey, this is Flex Alexander. I'm Shanice. And, and you're, you're watching, watching Celebrity Sweat. Sweat. Follow us on social media and check out csweat.com. We're back live with the Celebrity Softball Challenge. Team Garvey with a three spot in the top of the second inning. We got a three spot. Team Canseco, three to one. We got a three spot, Tom, and we got a uh, one spot to the head to Cassie, who's back out of the outfield, so we can tell you that he's fine. Uh, we wanted to make sure because he took yeah, quite a tumble on the slide. Right he scored, he was safe, but he took a Jose Canseco fastball to the head on the play of the play. Just as he was crossing the plate, got up a little slow from that, but uh, he's kind of holding his head out there still in left field. Well, so far we've got a hit to the knee and a hit to the head. Let's hope things calm down these next few innings. And he's a gamer, and how about. Mafio. Mafio. I feel feeling good. You know, you're a musician out in the sports world now. You gotta know he you know he feels great thinking I'm with a bunch of athletes. I'm a musician and I just got a base hit of these athletes. He's like he's running on air right now. <laughs> Multiple time Grammy winner, producer, musician. With Billy Blanks on the mound. Number 32, which I don't have on my we're roster getting, we're, either. Remember, we told you we had some late additions, so we'll get working on that. Early on, we had the uh, the the wrong number was given originally to Dion Waiters. We figured that out. We're yeah. gonna figure this out too to let you know who's up right now, and if he can do some damage right now. And a chopper. Jax, turn it. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh, and he throws it away. And Mafio, they'll get a hold at second base. That's our first E of the game, and it goes to uh, Jason Jackson from Heat TV. Jax, though, uh, already got a base hit and scored a run, so he's feeling good. Sure. Officially an E5 to Jason Jackson. Personally, Jax, I'll give him heat after the game. He needed to go cross the diamond there and just kind of float one up and get it. And now we get Hassan Whiteside. Hassan Whiteside. 
Nearly seven feet. Look how small the bat looks in his hands. Yeah, and look how large the strike zone is on Hassan Whiteside. Oh, boy. And a swing uh, and a miss. Hassan, he can't snap this because Dion already was called out for having his phone. Uh, I think maybe someone's snapping it for Hassan. I feel like I should snap it for him. <laughs> how good he's got. He's got Takes it. looking. His form, not exactly uh, ideal. His eye is good so far, though. I give him that. Are, would they be pitching around Hassan Whiteside right now? I, you know, could it be that you want to pitch around them here? Or, oh, don't throw him a groove one. That was a little low. It sure right. looks like the unintentional, intentional walk to Hassan, Hassan Whiteside. Hassan, Hassan's gonna, disappointed. He's disappointed. He looks like uh, what the hack of Hassan. A lot of teams uh, put him on the line when he struggled at the free throw line and he gets angry. Well, that's what he looks like. He got walked, and now he's walking to first. Yeah, he's wanting like, to swing the bat. Give me a chance to swing the bat, but the bases are now loaded as Carlito steps in. Not quite the same size strike zone on Carlito. Yeah, boy, we want to talk about a difference. Carlito Lundano here, uh, co-founder, chief communications officer, Universe Network, music executive. And and he lifts uh, one in the center, and it is caught. Oh, intro roll, double chance to double up. Well, he got a double play. Double play at second base. By the way, is Antrell doing a, a Jim Abbott thing out there? Because I feel like he's catching it left, throwing it, catching it right, throwing it left. What's he doing out there? Switching gloves over? So the score remains three to one. Good contact there. They were playing in. That's, that's exactly what he's doing. He's, so he's catching it right, but throwing, <laughs> throwing it left. <laughs> Whatever works, it's a double play. Sam Young again fouls one back into the photographers. Here's another guy that I think some, could get some footage if he got a hold of one. Well, he's a big guy. Again, he's an offensive lineman for the Dolphins. Uh, he's, he's a guy who's paid to protect. Mm -hmm. These large guys, when they get a hold of one, tend to hit it a long way. But then again, we don't know what his form was. We saw Hassan. We never got to see Hassan actually make contact, but his swing wasn't so pretty. Sam Young from nearby Coral Springs, and he sends one into center field. It is caught. And despite having the bases loaded, Team Garvey comes away with nothing, and it's still a three to one game in the Celebrity Softball go. Challenge. Howdy. Hey. Here we go. Awesome, thank you. Thank you. That's not your car. Car's ready. Wrong car. Is not your car? I would love to take it, but no. Oh, I'm so sorry about that. You guys want to check it out? It's someone else's car. This is beautiful. What is this? It's the all-new Chevy Equinox. This feels like a luxury SUV. I love this little 360. How do they even do that? I made a bad decision on my last car purchase. Well, your car's here. Bummer. Bummer. <laughs> <laughs> wah, wah. I'm ready for an upgrade. <laughs> Hello, Discover Card. Hi, can you tell me about these new social security alerts I keep hearing about? Uh, sure, just sign up online. Then we'll alert you if we find your social security number on any one of thousands of risky websites. Wow, that's cool. How much is it? Oh, it's free if you have a Discover Card. I like free. <laughs> yeah, we just want you to be in the know. Oh, hey, sushi. Oh, I smell it. <laughs> You're making me. <laughs> yeah, being in the know is a good thing. Know if your social security number is found on risky sites. Free from Discover. I'm Eric the Trainer, and welcome to Celebrity Sweat. Celebrity Sweat takes you behind the scenes to see how your favorite athletes and celebrities train. We talk to the stars about eating habits, training techniques, and we inspire people of all ages to live healthy lives. Hi, this is Big John McCarthy with the one and only Nene, superstar basketball player in the NBA. What's up, guys? I'm James Maslow. And I'm Jason Doring. And you're watching Celebrity, Celebrity Sweat. Sweat. What's up, guys? Standing here with the man himself, Le'Veon Bell. Um, I do leg lift. A late lift front, check out the Celebrity Sweat store at csweat.com and watch for weekly training tips and recipes from your favorite stars. Go to csweat.com to experience great fitness and nutrition today. Hi, I'm Billy Blanks. I'm here with the Miami Heat dancers, and we're about to do some Tybo on Celebrity Sweat. Sweat. What's up, guys? This is Uriah Hall, UFC middleweight contender. Adam Pac-Man Jones. Hi, I'm Johnny Bench, and you're watching Celebrity Sweat. You're watching Celebrity Sweat. A great time at the Celebrity Softball Challenge. And Jake is with the Dolphins wide receiver, Jarvis Landry. Guys, I'm right here with Jarvis Landry. Jarvis, we know you're a superstar on the football field. We didn't know you had the softball game. And you man, tell us about that hit you had. Man, is uh, you know, I was in a, 
in the gym right there with a tight count, and uh, he gave me one that I can hit, and I got a hold of it, and uh, you know, inside the park home run, it just started. And it's funny, and you blink your eyes, run around the bases. You can run around the bases probably three times in one hit. Jarvis, that was awesome. Good luck in the next at bat. At bat. Thank you. Guys, back to you. Jarvis Landry having himself a day. Yeah, the storyline with him, he's going to have himself an offseason. The Dolphins have been talking about giving him a long-term contract. He's going to get his money. He deserves it. Uh, the question is, will he get it before training camp? Neville Hewitt coming to the plate. It's Team Canseco trying to rally from the 3-1 deficit. And that one into the glove of Jose Canseco for the out. Yeah, Jose's made a couple of quick uh, plays there. That was just the old uh, can of corn relaxed. And Mr. Billy Blanks has been doing a masterful job on the mound. He was a magician in that last inning. A little, uh, little escape artist as well, trying to get out of that inning with the bases loaded, no run scored. Tybo creator looking to go tie boom if he gets the right pitch. Let's see if he's got it in him. Let's see if he's got it in him. Let's see, he's taking one for the knee so far. I got a line drive to the knee, stayed in. Got out of a bases loaded jam. I think it's about time he, he lines with. Now, I will tell you this if he hits with the center field right here, the sound white side ain't getting it. Nope. Yeah, he's Nobody gonna be running, home. He's running for days. And he lines one and can't say go in the right place at the right time once again. He's been I'm busy over there at short. I'm Steve Garvey right now, I'm just giving one message. Guys, don't hit it to Canseco. He's the only one who can catch it. So, <laughs> so don't hit it to him. Don't hit it to the guy who's actually a professional baseball player. Hit it where they ain't. And, as and they now say they that, ground it to Canseco. Look at that. One, two, three. Down goes Team Garvey. It's still a three to one game, middle of the third inning. We're live in Miami, the 13th annual Celebrity Softball Challenge. We're coming right back. Every stitch is a part of me. All these shapes and designs express our devotion to craftsmanship. I want people to feel our passion when they touch it and when they drive it. The all-new Mazda CX-5. Golden Corral now opens for seven-day brunch. French toast, omelets, a mashed potato volcano? Nice. We have over 150 choices, but the only one that matters is yours. Golden Corral, your choice rules. Celebrity Sweat takes you behind the scenes to see how your favorite athletes and celebrities train. Hi, me down the Holyfield, you're watching Celebrity Sweat. Hey, I'm Jason Priestley, and you're watching Celebrity Sweat. Yo, this is Terry Crews, and you're watching Celebrity Sweat. Learn from the pros. Check out recipes and training techniques at csweat.com. Get motivated, inspire others, and jumpstart your workouts and healthy lifestyle today. Celebrity Sweat provides high-energy workouts, training tips, celebrity fitness secrets, and recipes from the stars. Go to csweat.com today. It's been an incredible day with these amazing pilots. Yo, what's up, guys? It's your boy Brandon Michael Smith, and we're hanging out with Celebrity Sweat. I'm Chris Humphries, and you're watching Celebrity Sweat. Hey, this is Flex Alexander. I'm Shanice. And, and you're, you're watching, watching Celebrity Sweat. Follow us on social media and check out csweat.com. Lots of fans on hand enjoying the action at the Celebrity Softball Challenge. The team Canseco needs some runs, and they've got the firepower coming to bat in this inning. Jose is on deck, and we'll start with Walt Aikens, the Dolphins cornerback, seeing if he can do a little damage. Oh, he's going to right field, uh, testing out Deion Waiters. We saw Philly Cheese make a catch earlier. Uh-oh, having some trouble with that one, though. It drops in for a stand-up double for I, Mr. Akins. He lost it in the sun. How about that? We'll go with that excuse. It's, it's, oh, a, it's a high oh, sun right error. now, middle of the day in South Florida, so we'll give Deion a pass. We'll call it a double. That's not an error. You're right. The last time up for the team captain, the manager, Jose Canseco. He sent one out of the park to left, just inside the foul pole. One swing of the bat, we are away from a tie game. Canseco defense right now is you've got Neville Hewitt in left and Kazi in left center, both playing about two feet from the warning track, and that still may not be deep enough. No. Staying away from him now. Canseco may not get a pitch to hit. 
Uh, he can make some damage with anything over the plate, and he's kind of passing on that one. That might have been the one. Hey, I was going to say, it looked like, you know, well, if anybody knows a wheelhouse, he knows that wheelhouse. You get it right there about belt high, and he's going to hit this thing very high and far. There's no breeze, not that he needs one. Look at Jose. He's got the bat wave like the old days. Oh, boy. And there it I goes. I don't know if he got a hold of this one, though. This Might one. not be enough. That's a, a loud out, oh. and it's dropped out there by Kazzy. And Canseco trots into second as Aikens comes home to score. There we go. No hop up. No hop up. I think, no, Kaz, I think Kazzy's go. still struggling from that shot from Canseco to the head. Maybe yeah. that's what it is. We'll give him. He's, he's, he had a hard time thinking out there to get that one because that one hit the glove. Canseco knew he didn't get it, even though uh, uh, didn't get it for Canseco is, is at the warning track. Yeah, it's a loud out at very worst for Canseco, who stands at second base. And Jonathan Cyprian comes to bat. Love to see the guys get up to the plate. You could always tell the guy that just doesn't really play this baseball or softball, the way they stand at the plate, how low their hands are, mm -hmm. <laughs> how they're holding the bat. Uh, if they can make contact, I think is the, is the key. Just hit it somewhere. And Cyprian got a piece of that one. And Seiko being a little encouraging from second base. He's trying to manage and, and, and run the bases at the same time. A little That's base right. hit ties the game up here, so it is a important at bat recipient. Again, a pitch outside, and Jonathan Cyprian. Didn't really get a good look at one, and he'll take his spot at first base. Patience at the plate, and another opportunity now for uh, for Team Canseco to tie this up, maybe even take the lead. 40, Mafia. Here's Mafia. Well, Mafia lined a hit last time, and I'd say he must feel pretty good. Here's, here's the you know the non-athlete guy in a group of athletes. Uh, swing and a miss. You think he'd give away one of those Grammys to drive in a tying run right here? The great feeling. If he knocks in a couple here and, and takes the lead and that's the deciding runs, I, I think he'll trade in one of those Grammys. And then he can always tell the story. You know, I was running around the bases with Jose Canseco while Jarvis Landry and these guys were chasing the ball that I hit. Well, something you get to do every day. And a swing and a miss. He's working low. See, if Billy saw the scouting report. The scouting report is if you, you bring it up high, he's not going to hit. But if you throw it low, he got a, a high ball to hit the last time, and, and now he's uh, taking a seat on the bench. And a strikeout. Who's up next? Nobody was waiting on deck. Is this one of our late additions? And again, with two outs and a swing and a miss, and we don't have 32. We, we're getting the late additions. That's okay. More late stars edition. on board. We love this. We'll, we'll get you who it is, but we're getting more stars on board as we had uh, St. changes at the final moment. It's a base hit, though. Base hit to left, and Canseco will score easily to tie the game at three apiece. Bad throw goes into second base, and all of a sudden we've got the go-ahead run now at second base. So uh, Team Canseco, uh, do we have Hassan Whiteside coming up now? I, I think the big guy could be due. He's getting the bat. Here he comes, the seven-footer. He's changing bats. He's gone with a blue and orange bat that looks like a toothpick in his hands. Hassan Whiteside. Walked his first time up. We saw him swing once, and it wasn't the prettiest thing in the world. We'll see if he can come through here. Oh, boy. Swing and a miss from Whiteside, who just recently bought his mom a big house when he got the big cheese from a new big contract. He got that $98 million contract, and Hassan then had always promised his mom, his mom, his family lives in North Carolina, it got her a beautiful home and surprised her on Snapchat. He, She thought they were actually just going to look at a home, handed her the keys. Boy, he's about to hand himself a strikeout, though, any second now. The NBA's top rebounders. Top ball barely hits an angle. Oh, is that a, a, and he's one, out. He's out. It's only two strikes are out. Yeah, we got a two strikes you're out going here. Major League Baseball would love this. Pace of game would certainly increase. <laughs> no question about it. <laughs> so right, that so is two outs. Hassan's got a walk and a strike out on the day, so he's okay with that. He's right. okay with that. Mom's got the house. He's got the contract. He had made a bunch of moves this week. He's happy with the team. He talked pregame about that. So happy to have Dion and James Johnson back on the roster. They signed Kelly Olenek, a guy that actually he had issues with when he was in Boston. Those two kind of beefed it up on the court once. But uh, he said he's happy to have him as a teammate. So an encouraging off season right now for the Miami Heat. And this one has popped into shallow center and not quite there as the catch is made by Jarvis Landry for the third out.
But Team Canseco added a couple of runs. They tie the game at three apiece. The fun continues at the Celebrity Softball Challenge. You know, GEICO insures way more than cars, boats, motorcycles, even RVs. What's an RV? Uh, the thing we've been stuck on for five years. Wait, I'm not a real moose? We're stickers. What's a sticker? Take a closer look at GEICO. This is a story about mail and packages, and it's also a story about people. And while we make more e-commerce deliveries to homes than anyone else in the country, we never forget that your business is our business. The United States Postal Service, priority. I'm Eric the Trainer, and welcome to Celebrity Sweat. Celebrity Sweat takes you behind the scenes to see how your favorite athletes and celebrities train. We talk to the stars about eating habits, training techniques, and we inspire people of all ages to live healthy lives. Hi, this is Big John McCarthy with the one and only Nene, superstar basketball player in the NBA. What's up, guys? I'm James Maslow. And I'm Jason Doring. And you're watching Celebrity, Celebrity Sweat. Sweat. What's up, guys? Standing here with the man himself, Le'Veon Bell. Um, I do leg lift, a leg lift front. Check out the Celebrity Sweat store at csweat.com and watch for weekly training tips and recipes from your favorite stars. Go to csweat.com to experience great fitness and nutrition today. Hi, I'm Billy Blanks. I'm here with the Miami Heat dancers, and we're about to do some Tybo on Celebrity Sweat. Sweat. What's up, guys? This is Uriah Hall, UFC middleweight contender. Adam Pacman Jones. Hi, I'm Johnny Bench. And you're watching Celebrity Sweat. You're watching Celebrity Sweat. Back live in Miami for the Celebrity Softball Challenge. And Jake is with Hassan Whiteside. He's given away at least a foot to Hassan, Jake. You know, you're an unbelievable basketball player. You dominate the court. Let me ask you a question. If basketball was out of the question, could softball or baseball be your new profession? Oh, nah, man. It's, I, I don't know, man. Nah. Well, you look good out there. We love watching you, and uh, we look forward to a great, great, great rest of the game. And uh, tell us what you're thinking about the rest of the game. How are you guys going to pull out this win? Um, you know, we're going to keep hitting and um, getting these bases. You know, Jose playing unbelievable, and um, guys uh, you getting to the bases, and uh, we're going to get this win. Just follow Jose, Captain Jose's lead, and he'll take you home, right? Yep. Guys, back to you. So you know, Jake, the Major League Baseball All-Star game, of course, is not the All-Star game without a home run derby. And neither is the Celebrity Softball Challenge. Now, the, the home run derby of Major League Baseball this year is going to have hometown guy for the Miami Marlins, Sean Carlos Stanton, who won it last year. Mm -hmm. It's got Aaron Judge, the Yankees phenom, who loses all of baseball with 30 home runs. Those guys are sluggers, but how, how unfair is it that in this home run derby, are you going to have Jose Canseco? How do you expect Dion Waiters to hold up against Jose Canseco in a home run derby? Is it is out of the infield the home run for some of these guys? It's Change the rules? to be seen. I think this is our first home run derby guy. Deion Waiters. Deion Waiters steps in. Philly Cheese, see what he can do. I have very little optimism that Dion will hit a home run here. But it's maybe a shot. It's, maybe it's all about distance. I mean, if he gets, listen, if he gets one out of the infield, I say we count it a home run and Canseco has to hit it over the fence. I, I think those should be the rules. Almost like the long drive contest in golf. This is it. Oh, boy. And a swing and a miss. Well, first of all, the pitcher is throwing and then moving out of the way, so he, he doesn't want any part of this. Oh, and another one. I still get the impression that, that Dion Waiters doesn't have a care in the world right now. He's, He's still kind of on that high with that. $52 million. Yeah. just signed a $52 million deal, reported $52 million <laughs> four years. I think he's fine. There we go. This is a line drive. Yeah, that's right. Not quite the whole part. Got the bat on the ball. Canseco in the background. Yeah, Jose is going to – how many is Jose going to hit? Three, four, five? Yeah. He's got five swings. Remember, it's five swings. You kind of make Dion nervous. He's trying to hit a home run with Canseco watching over his shoulder. Well, the, the amazing thing is Dion Waiters is a strong guy. He's in great shape. He got in the best shape of his career this year. And Dion hits that ball, hits it sort of square, and hits it just barely over the shortstop's head. Jose takes a little swing and hits it at 420 feet. And this one popped up. It's going to... Well, he got out of the infield. Yeah, Can we give him one? Can we say he got one because he hit it out of the infield? All right, so, yeah, we can't say that. No home runs for Deion Waiters. He hit a, he hit a home run already uh, by signing that deal. All right. You just, you're, you're waiting for Canseco to, to show everybody up here. Yeah, Walt Akins is going to give the shot. Walt, you know, he's, he's, a, he's a guy that 
is a good athlete. I've seen Walt on the, full, on the field with the Dolphins. And I, I don't know if he's got the swing to do this. Not bad right there as he said us to right center. Right center. Yeah. Yeah. Get the oh, I'm just this is Walt Akins. Yeah, yeah, Pops it up just over second base. Oh, well, listen, if you're going to go in scoring, though, he's not going to hit a home run, but he's ahead of Deion Waiters in the category here. So we give him that. He's hitting him to the outfield with somewhat force. He's connecting. Yeah, he's connecting line drives. And, you know, he looks like he has a clue up there at the plate. There we go, line drive. That was Walt like, Akins getting the bat on the ball. One more swing. Let's see if Walt can get a hold of one. That's not bad, though. Yeah. Okay, they're not home runs, but Walt Akins has got to feel pretty good about those five swings. I've got to, I got to talk to Walt after the game. I've got a feeling that somewhere along the line he was a baseball player because he looked pretty natural up there with sure. the swing. That was not a forced, ugly swing. Uh, Jose saying, okay, is it time for me to put on the show? Because if it is, let me get up there. Yeah. What's the over-under here, three? Get five pitches. Our juice is coming up for us, Jarvis Landry. Oh, yeah. Still not <laughs> time for Jose. Well, see, Juice got an inside the park home run, but that's that's his game is based on on quickness and speed. So, the inside the park home run is, I think, the best maybe he could do. This one high in the air. If that counts for anything, <laughs> he's. I give Juice credit. He's got the right idea because he's looking for lift instead of line drive. But uh, taking a big yeah, cut yeah, at it tough. right there. It's got to connect. It's going to be a little tough to connect. What sound does, uh, does a Marlin make? Hey, Juice. Oh. Juice is swinging, though. I, I give him credit. He's swinging hard. He's swinging for the fences, as they say. What, Two what? more pitches for Jarvis Landry. This is the most controversy from an umpire in a celebrity oh, softball juice. game history. Juice, juice. Oh. juice is trying to figure out with the umpire how many more swings. I think he's got one left, if I'm not mistaken, Tom. Landry, the Miami Dolphins wide receiver, a lot of lift in his hits. Yeah, good eye, good eye. He's like, if I'm going to get one more, I'm going to get my pitch. Usually these celebrity games, you're bringing those fences. This is a big fence out there. That's yeah, not going to happen. Yeah, just over first base. So Canseco's just biding his time over there, thinking, you know, if you want home runs, I'm your guy. They're coming soon. One more from Juice. I heard a Dolphin fan now, though, here attending the game that said, don't worry, Juice. All I need you is to make catches. And this one's pretty good. And a little backflip from Landry as that lands deep in left center. That's the best one we have seen so far. He brings that one down the line a little. It yeah. may have a chance. It may have a chance. You hit it to the left center, it's probably not going to get out. But that was an impressive way to end it. Now, Tom, the show begins. As Jose Canseco steps in. He's already hit a home run in the game. It was the first run of the game in the first inning. And he hit one to the warning track, and he knocked someone out of the game with a line, with a throw. So he's uh, he's got three hits in the game. It's been it's been quite an afternoon already <laughs> for the former co-bash brother with the Oakland A's, along with Mark McGuire. The pitcher wants nothing to do with him. He's, yeah. he's flinging it and running to the net right after he throws it. I cannot him. say I blame him. Yeah. Jose, though, being the pro he is, he's been in home run derbies before in these kind of competitions. you got to swing at your bitch. You get five swings, not five bitches. And there is one down the left field line. Is it enough? Not quite. Right to the warning track. I don't think, I'm not Jose. sure that has the lift either. He's not getting it up there. Yep. He's just getting the line drive. You know, Jose, right now the competitive uh, juices are flowing. He's thinking to himself, I, I got to get one. I, I can't go over in a celebrity softball game. Right. This is what I do as he grounds one foul towards third. I mean, the good thing is, though, to his credit, as you mentioned, he's got one in the game. He's got one in the game, so it's not like he's going to go home tonight without hitting one, but you want to get at least one. Two swings left for Jose. Can't say go. Didn't like that one. He gets one in his zone, gets a little lift that's going over that Barry University scoreboard. And that could be it, but that's foul. That one's in my car. Yeah. So there goes my car. So that Jose's got one hit to my car and, <laughs> and one swing left. You going to give him the bill on that? Yeah, I, I will. I'll be sending this away. I'll just do it for long distance. I don't want him around just in case. And Canseco with what would have been a single to left in his final swing and they're going to give, give him one more. It's Jose yeah. Canseco. You're here to see him hit home runs. We saw one earlier. We got to see at least one in the home run derby. And that could be it. Deep to left and out of here. There you go. He took a mulligan and he made it work. It paid off.
He got it. There's your home run derby winner. Big surprise. Jose Canseco. And Jose Canseco, let's take a look at it again. Big swing. And he knew it right away. Yeah, vicious swing. And we said, he's just got to get one up in the air. That's all Jose has to do is get one up in the air. Once he gets one up in the air, it's going to go a long way. So one in the game and one in the home run derby from one of the great home run hitters of all time, Jose Canseco. Hot and muggy day here in Miami. These guys are going to regroup now. They got a little break with the home run derby. They got two innings to go. We got ourselves a game here, and we joked in the pregame that these guys are here for fun, but the competitive juice is flowing. I think we got a sure. fun two innings coming up, Tom. These are athletes, and they are competitive. The game is tied at three apiece. We'll take a break and come back with the conclusion right after this, live on ESPN. Degree has redefined deodorant with motion sense technology so that I can redefine power, footwork, range. And the more I move, the more it works, giving me superior protection on and off the court. Degree, it won't let you down. This summer, a Wendy's Frosty is just 50 cents. So feel free to freak out, because now's the best time to indulge a little, or a lot, do you. The 50 Cent Frosty, available for a limited time at Wendy's. Celebrity Sweat takes you behind the scenes to see how your favorite athletes and celebrities train. Hi, me, Van der Holyfield, yo. Watching Celebrity Sweat. Hey, I'm Jason Priestley, and you're watching Celebrity Sweat. Yo, this is Terry Crews, and you are watching Celebrity Sweat. Learn from the pros. Check out recipes and training techniques at csweat.com. Get motivated, inspire others, and jumpstart your workouts and healthy lifestyle today. Celebrity Sweat provides high energy workouts, training tips, celebrity fitness secrets, and recipes from the stars. Go to csweat.com today. been an incredible day with these amazing pilots. Yo, what's up, guys? It's your boy Brandon Michael Smith, and we're hanging out with Celebrity Sweat. I'm Chris Humphreys, and you're watching Celebrity Sweat. Hey, this is Flex Alexander. I'm Shanice. And, and you're, you're watching, watching Celebrity Sweat. Sweat. Follow us on social media and check out csweat.com. Back in South Florida at the Celebrity Softball Challenge, and Jake is with the Miami Heat Director of Basketball Development, Shane Battier. Shane Battier right now, two-time champion. Shane, you look great out there. How's it feel? <laughs> it's a lot of fun. You know, we all love to play other sports than, than our main sports. So I was a baseball player growing up, so this is, this is awesome for me. That's amazing. Now, we have two innings left, kind of like going into the fourth quarter of a game. How are you going to get your team motivated to end this game? Yeah, it's a tight game. You know, we, there's a bunch of athletes out here. I mean, these, these guys are competitive. And so uh, I think you saw Cassie slide, slide at home. We're in it to win it. So two innings to go, we need some runs. You're in it to win it, that's right, and you're the veteran leader, and you got, you're going to take him to the champion. <laughs> Guys, I'm right here with Shane Battier. Tom, back to you. Jake, thank you, and that answers your question right there. Yes, it's a celebrity softball challenge. Are these guys competitive? Do they want to win? Absolutely. They do it. Of course, you know, you saw when Jarvis hit the line drive, when he saw it go to the outfield, and he's like, okay, I'm going to get a home run. Like, that, that little gear kicked in. He talked about Kazi, you know, sliding it at home, taking one to the noggin from Jose Canseco. These guys are athletes. The juices yeah. get flowing, they get going, and Shane's actually to get the bat. Now, I know Shane said he was a baseball player when he was young, and I love Shane, but he didn't look like a baseball player's first at bat. Not that he first time. Swung an ugly pitch he struck out. So a little redemption time maybe. Maybe it was just the timing issue. A little timing issue, but he'll get he'll get it going. And Cassie still holding his head, by the way. Well, it, he, look, it looks like he's got ice on his head. Yeah, he does as he greets Shane Battier. Well, you got to think. A, a Jose can say go throw to your head. It's got to be a bump, but he is a stunt man, so he, he's taken, how many falls would you say, Tom, he's taken in his career? He's probably at least 100 times has taken a bad fall doing a stunt, so he, he knows it. He knows the thing. This, this will be a story he'll tell, I'm guessing, for years and years to come. Here it was. Oh, back of the head. Boy, that was, uh, yeah, it came from the arm of Canseco. Canseco getting redemption for his classic uh, ball to the head over the fence home run mm -hmm. that he had when he was a player. Uh, but he threw that thing from short on a line. 
Put it this way, if it was you or me taking that to the head, we'd be on a stretcher right now. Correct. Yeah, we'd be on a stretcher. So the fact that he's up tells you why he's a stunt man and why he's been doing it for a long time, yeah. getting paid well to do it. That ice. It's got to feel good down there, actually. Say, you may want to get a bucket of ice after this game. It's right. hot out here, humid. Uh, these guys, uh, we talked to Cassie before the game. He says he's been traveling a lot down south. He's been here in South Florida getting right, sunny, looked tan. Uh, so he, he's dealing with the heat. We're going to deal with Shane Batty and swing in the moment. Yeah, Shane Batty. Of course, these guys want to look good in front of their peers as well. And Shane Batty, who he did say he played baseball growing up, not so good the first time up. See what he's got in him this time. In a 3-3 game, of course, we only play five innings. So lightning can strike very quickly here. Two innings left to play in the Celebrity Softball Challenge. And Shane has kept busy. I saw him about two weeks ago right before free agency started, and he's been in his office at the American Airlines Arena going over the analytics and studying players, and now they got their free agents and re-signed guys, so he kind of gets some downtime, but I don't think this is the downtime he expected, continuing to swing and miss. Tom, and we are potentially looking at another strikeout. Got to make contact here, Shane. There's another chance at it. And a foul ball is caught. I'm glad Shane was a great basketball player. Well, he's got those two rings will mask anything. <laughs> but right now, inside that, there's pride inside that man right now. And that pride is being swallowed, thinking, I can't believe I struck out my first step bat, and I just foul tip one to the catcher. He finally gets the bat on the ball, and that's what happens. Well, if you know, not only are we airing this, but remember, everybody's got their camera phones and stuff, and they're tweeting out saying, I just saw Shane Batty a strikeout twice. I just saw Shane Batty. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he's getting added on his social media right now. Now, Jarvis wouldn't mind if, he, if somebody posted his first at bat because he had that inside the park home run. Jarvis Landry got the cool shades on as he comes to bat, looking to give Team Garvey a lead. And this one is popped up high in the air to center field, way over the head of Whiteside. And he's going to trot past second base, looking for three. Better be a stand-up triple. Don't, don't test it, Jarvis. Don't test it. Is he yeah. going to do it? No, no, no. Don't test Jose Canseco. Uh, stay right there. Dolphin fans right there are happy about that. Yeah, Dolphin fans happy about that. Yeah, he, he, he stopped quickly there on his way from third to home momentarily. Well, his first at-bat, he ran hard. I think he thought then, well, I've got another at I got another home run. I already got one, so why am I going to you know, sprint around the bases? He kind of jogged that one out. And this one high in the air to left field. Tagging up. He's running backwards. And Landry will give Team Garvey a 4-3 lead. That's why you stay at third. That's why you stay at third with no outs, right? Mm -hmm. Jarvis showing that he's not only smart on the football field, he's smart on the softball field as well. He knew that situational hit it, right? That's what it comes down to. What can Jason Jackson do now? See, Big I love Jax. His face. I love Jax because he loves baseball. He's a huge Cincinnati Reds fan, mm -hmm. a huge, as big as they come. And Jax loves baseball. It's actually his first true love, even though he's a basketball yeah, he loves baseball. Love he's got the batting Jake gloves on. First. He's got the sock stirrups on. Look at this. Look, he's, look. Yeah, he's geared up today. Playing the part yeah. of the baseball player. Making the most of this moment. He's eating this up, too. He loves this. He got his hit already. He got a hit, a clean single, and scored a run his first at bat. He hits with the center, too. He knows he's running. Steps into that one, hits it down the third base line, and it's bobbled down there by Cyprian, and Jackson is aboard. All right, Jackson's on base. His on-base percentage remains perfect. He's, he's, he's getting on. Kazi, by the way, is going to hit with ice on his head. You know, he, at the last <laughs> second, he's going he's to get rid of the ice. Oh, my goodness. And here he comes, minus the ice. <laughs> I think he's the only person in this game that can take that hit to the head and continue to play. I'm glad it was him and not anybody else. Yeah, you're right about that. If you don't want to see anyone get hit like that, right. but if somebody's going to do it, let it be Kazi because yeah. he's taken many, and he's a stunt man, and he can do it. The crazy thing about it is reading his bio, and you know you see him in commercials, and you hear what he does. And I mean, he's a songwriter. He's a novelist. All the things that he does. He's a bright guy. We talked to him before the game that you would think a guy that big that plays a stunt man is kind of a brute guy, but he's actually a sweet, very kind guy, very well-spoken. Here's a guy who has been in more Super Bowl commercials than anyone in history, Kazi. He's the Viking, right? He's the Viking, Capital One. And there he goes smart, to center field. Smart hitting to Hassan, because Hassan, again, that, just, just don't hurt yourself, Hassan. He's been trying to Hassan, he's it. And Jason Jackson comes up a little limp oh, on his boy. way to third. We have our first injury. Oh, no, we got our first injury. Might need a pinch runner for Jason Jackson as Kazi comes in. 
to second base, standing yeah, yeah, yeah. up. Shane Batty is going to help out Jax, maybe in run form. Yeah, Jax, uh, Jax pulled the hammy, I think. Yeah, Jar Jarvis is telling him, look, this is the way it is. You got you to be able to hydrate and stretch. And it. Uh, we hope Jax is okay. Jax will tough it out. He's, he's a tough guy, but he definitely got a little strain there. Early word is he's day-to-day. -day. <laughs> it's an Antrell roll now with two on and a 4-3 lead. And he grounds one past Canseco right under the glove. Battier scores. Kazzy's going to score as well. A two-run single for Antrell Roll. And that opens it up a little bit for Team Garvey. Antrell well, putting the roll in. Roll, rolling one toward Canseco who couldn't get low enough. We, we talked before the game. You know, Canseco's so big and strong. He hasn't really been playing, obviously, in years. You wonder how much is his mobility as far as getting down on a ball or getting up. Well, he's, he's caught the balls right at him, but he had to kind of get yeah. down on that one. He looks amazing, but that, that mobility, the flexibility, you know, you, you start to lose that with age. Well, you tell me. I'm feeling, <laughs> I'm feeling it right now. I, I can't be one to, to joke with him, so I'm definitely feeling it. Neville Hewitt towards the first base side. Finding the hole. Well, Neville, yeah, Neville's going to find speed. second base. How about that? The aggression from Neville Hewitt, Dolphins linebacker. And quite a top of the fourth inning for Team Garvey. Still two outs and two on as Billy Blanks comes to the plate. How about Cassie? Cassie gets up, gets on, hits the ball, and then goes back. And he's, he's coaching third now with an ice pack on his head. Yeah. High in the air for Billy Blanks. And the pitcher oh, is there to make style. the catch. So three runs for Team Garvey, and they open up a three-run lead as we head to the bottom of the fourth inning at the Celebrity Softball Challenge. We are live in Miami. This is X Body Spray. Use it to stay fresh all day. And this is X Dry Spray. Use it to stay dry for 48 hours. Why are you touching your armpit? I was just checking to see if it was dry. Don't. That's weird. Smell great and stay dry with Axe. How was your vacation? Get a little sun. Yeah, you're looking a little ripe there, buddy. Yeah, uh, very funny. <laughs> hey, guys, what's this tomato doing at Randy's desk? <laughs> you know, that actually reminds me, Steve. I got you something when I was over there. It's just a little something that I just thought you might like. Aloha. Mangoes can get sunburned. Put some flavor in your break with new mango tea. Make time for Snapple. I'm Eric the Trainer, and welcome to Celebrity Sweat. Celebrity Sweat takes you behind the scenes to see how your favorite athletes and celebrities train. We talk to the stars about eating habits, training techniques, and we inspire people of all ages to live healthy lives. Hi, this is Big John McCarthy with the one and only Nene, superstar basketball player in the NBA. What's up, guys? I'm James Maslow. And I'm Jason Doring. And you're watching Celebrity, Celebrity Sweat. Sweat. What's up, guys? Standing here with the man himself, Le'Veon Bell. Um, I do leg lift, a leg lift front. Check out the Celebrity Sweat store at csweat.com and watch for weekly training tips and recipes from your favorite stars. Go to csweat.com to experience great fitness and nutrition today. Hi, I'm Billy Blanks. I'm here with the Miami Heat dancers, and we're about to do some Tybo on Celebrity Sweat. Sweat. What's up, guys? This is Uriah Hall, UFC middleweight contender. Adam Pac-Man Jones. Hi, I'm Johnny Bench. And you're watching Celebrity Sweat. You're watching Celebrity Sweat. And if you want to cool off after the game, just head on down to South Beach here in Miami. Perfect thing on a hot July day. We are live at the Celebrity Softball Challenge for 2017. Tom James, Will Manso in the booth. Celebrity Sweat, and Jake, take it away. Hey guys, I'm here with Jonathan Cyprian, third baseman. Sip, you guys are down three, going into the last inning here, you know, bottom half of the fourth inning. What are you thinking about this rest of this game? Uh, we're thinking about winning it, you know what I mean? This is, this is grind time, this is where it really matters. Ninth inning, we gotta get these, whole, we gotta get these um, scores on the board and keep them off their, their scoreboard. That's right, you guys gotta play some defense here. And let me ask you, you know, you're in great shape. How do you keep your body in such great shape in the offseason? 
Oh, you know, it, it starts off with um, just committing to working out, uh, working out five times a week. And uh, besides that, you know, eating the right stuff. You know, with those two things, you know, just work on your game, um, improve on your weaknesses, strengthen your strengths, and uh, just get ready for this season to start. Awesome, and the off season's key, and you got a great work ethic, as well as everyone should have. And uh, you know, with that, with that being said, you know, you're set up for success. So, uh, good luck the rest of this game, and then we'll catch you after the game. All right, now, thanks, thanks. We're gonna get this win, guys. Back to you, North Beach High School alum, Miami native Jonathan Cyprian. Yeah, you get used to see, saying it too. Uh, the amount of NFL players that have called South Florida home at the at the high school level, at the prep level, uh, from Bell Glade down through the Keys, you get kids from all all places in particular though in dade county uh, you see it all the time in broward county as well and uh, jonathan one of those proud guys that has made it to the nfl uh, we see many of them now in the league and right now what we see though is we got two innings right just to make sure we got two innings left uh, still to go so they've, they've got uh, team canseco's got some work to do and it all starts with sam young played his college ball at notre dame Swinging away on the first pitch, and Lason won it to center field. Sam Young is aboard for Team Canseco. And Trell with my favorite thing in the game, Antrell playing right-handed, throwing left-handed. So he's got to make the catch, flip the glove around, and then make the throw in. So far, he hasn't had any issues with it. Watch the form from Sam Young. Looking pretty good on that swing. Not bad, Sam. Sam's got a story to tell. Yeah. He's, he's getting base hit. As a teammate. And Walt Akins and a single to left. And the first two guys aboard for Team Canseco. You got the right guy up to tie the game right here. Well, he's already hit a home run in this game, and that came in the first inning, Jose Canseco. But Neville Hewitt is on his way to the warning track. Cassie's already there. Uh, Antrell probably, I don't think Jose has any desire to hit it to center field. He wants to hit it over that, that scoreboard at left. Look at him, he's geared up that way. He's got the, the left foot out that way. He's calling his shot right he, now. He may I put think, on the you know, show. He may, and if you notice the breeze is picking up a little bit toward left field, uh, he may just he may just go in that direction right now. Can't say go. Oh, look at Billy wants nothing to do with him. Billy wants nothing to do with him. It's an unhittable pitch as he rolls it in there. Roll, literally rolling it in there, isn't he? I don't think there's a ball rule for Jose. The umpire could tell Jose to go to first, but he's not doing it. No one's telling Jose he can say go to walk to first. No. That's ball five, by the way. Sam Young at second. Walt Akins at first. And Jose Canseco at the plate. Oh, boy. There it is. And he gets a hold of one to left. And that is gone. A second home run go. of the afternoon for Jose Canseco. And that one ties the game at six apiece in the bottom of the four. We said he was going to left. He had the foot pointed toward left. The, the breeze, whatever breeze there is, had nothing to do with that home run. That was just Jose Canseco being Jose Canseco. He's smiling. He crosses home. He knew he, knew he got it. From the second, it left the bat. It crazy how a guy who hasn't played in the professional level in so long can get up there and look exactly the way he looks on the follow through and a swing that he did when he played professionally. So strong. And the game is tied at six apiece. Jose Canseco homered in the first inning. Jonathan Cyprian uh, you know, told Jake, he's like, we're not going to give up. And Cip now gets a base hit and they've tied up the game and they haven't given up. They're, they're got a chance to take the lead this inning. Yeah, it's still nobody out. Three runs already across. Canseco with the solo shot in the first inning. Now a three-run bomb here in the bottom of the fourth. We are tied as Mafio steps in, and he singles to left. Well, I spoke too oh, soon. That? Neville Hewitt as coming through with the crab. Hewitt runs that one down. Had to take a lot of steps to get to that one, and that records the first out. Let's get down to Jake. Guys, I'm here with Jose Canseco. Jose, another home run. How'd that feel? I tell you what, I can't breathe. My age is catching up to me. My cardio is horrible, but it felt pretty good. We're winning. You still got it. You, man, you hit that thing like crazy. You know, it's, it's unbelievable your age stay in such great shape. How important is diet in your, in your regimen? Well, working out, diet. Uh, you know, I don't drink, don't, don't smoke, that kind of stuff. So, you know, clean living. Clean living, definitely. You're on your road to the comeback right here, and good luck the rest of the way. Thank you, guys. Guys, back to you. And 
Jose admiring his couple of home runs. It's Hassan Whiteside with a big single to center field, and he is aboard. Still one out here in the bottom of the fourth inning. As a swing. He looked better on that one. He hadn't made contact yet. Hassan, Hassan got the base hit. Yep. It's a big inning going on right here for Canseco. This one is lifted into center field. Mike James of the Detroit Lions is going to easily reach second base, maybe third as Hassan Whiteside scores the go-ahead run to make it 7-6. to six. And they, This is where the competition gets going. Though. By the way, James, who's, a, who's a, obviously is a running back, a quick guy, he got the third quickly on that one. He, he wanted the inside the parker. He knocks in two runs, and all of a sudden we've gone from a 6-3 game, Tom, to a 8-6 Conseco lead, and we still are going in the city. It's a little merry-go-round action with one out. <laughs> Fans loving it here this afternoon, despite the heat. Our Carlito uh, he wants to get on the board here. He's got an opportunity for RBI. Carlito, the founder of Universe Network TV. He's also a music executive. He's got a long resume. He'd like to add an RBI in the Celebrity Softball Challenge to that resume. And funny, that might go to the top of the resume if you could pull in. You know, like, hey, I, I knocked in a football player, an RBI single to make it 9-6 nine, nine, on Team Conseco. Carlito, and he walks. Aldona goes to first. And, uh, okay, so a walk isn't quite as impressive on the resume, but it's better than the strikeout. Uh, they're looking for the next batter. Uh, they're batting around in this inning, though. Yeah. Sam Young is the next guy up, and he started the festivities at the beginning of the bottom of the fourth inning. An, Team Canseco has put up five runs. I think what, I've noticed, what I've noticed this inning is, um, oh, they don't touch second, touch second. You got it. Jarvis has got the ground. What I've noticed this inning, though, I think, I think Jose, as the manager, said, you know, guys, don't do as I do. Just hit the ball somewhere where they ain't. You know, get a little bloop yeah. single now and then find the holes. I'll take care of the big swing and the big home runs. And that formula has worked this inning. So Sam Young with a couple of hits. Here in this inning already. He's reached base twice in the bottom of the fourth. Walt Aikens. Walt Aikens. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna, uh, we got Conseco on deck, so right now Billy's thinking, oh my goodness, just let me get this out, get get our next at bat, try to come back in this last inning and keep Jose from getting up again. Jose's got a chance at a three home run game though if he can get up mm -hmm. to the plate. And the Dolphins corner back. Waiting on the one he likes. Uh-oh, it's a walk. And he walks. Which means. So already in the bottom of the fourth, Jose Canseco look at lit it up look with at, a three-run home Landry. run. Tom, look at Jarvis Landry. <laughs> <laughs> Jarvis Landry sprinting from short, from short, and he's standing on top of yeah, the wait, fence at left field. Waiting on top of the fence. Maybe if Jose hits it out there, he's got a shot. Jump the fence real quick. Oh, my goodness. You can't see it. We're watching Jarvis just jump the fence, and he was standing at the top of the fence waiting for that Conseco swing, and, and Jose may not get a swing. Then again, remember last time he had the, the Bob Euchre, ball seven, ball eight. He, he did. He, and he kept going. He didn't care. Yeah, we just make it up as we go along. He's the manager, and he's got the most home runs all time of this group, which means more than any one of them combined, which means none of them have one. <laughs> <laughs> By a long shot. Look at Jose. Steve. Jose. Steve Garvey has him, but he's not actually playing today. This is an interesting uh, configuration by Steve Garvey. It's the old five-man left field rotation yeah. where you put basically everyone in left field and hope they can somehow fly over the fence and grab this next ball. And, and uh, there goes Jose again to left field. Landry is up, <laughs> but not high enough, and it's gone. <laughs> oh, Jarvis is mad that he couldn't get it. <laughs> Jarvis out there did everything he could possibly do to keep that ball in the park to no avail as Jose Canseco hits his third home run of the afternoon, his second in the bottom of the fourth inning. Jose with a six RBI inning. My goodness. Uh, I think he put on the show, I, I'm telling you, Jose's going to win manager of the year 
Steve's got some work to do because Jose said, guys, this inning, just get singles, get me on yeah. base, and I'll take care of the rest. A pair of three-run home runs in the same inning for Jose Canseco. His team has put nine runs on the board. They're in good shape now. Just get out of this inning, get three more outs, and you're the winners. And it, Billy goes barehanded. And brought Battier off the bag at first base, so he is safe. And another look at Jose's latest bash. Look at that. As he admires. And Jarvis did his best. Jarvis <laughs> did really his best. Did. And then throws a tantrum, of course. <laughs> he looks like that was like a, when he doesn't get doesn't get the pass interference call. <laughs> that, that's the way Jarvis looks. And Mafio. And he hits one into center. Antrell Roll makes the catch to mercifully and the bottom of the fourth. For Team Garvey, nine runs for Team Canseco. They blow it open and they lead it 12 to six as we head to the fifth inning here live at the Celebrity Softball Challenge on ESPN3. They said it was impossible to have great tasting light beer. Boom, award-winning Heineken light brewed with Cascade hops. They also said it was impossible to hypnotize you. You are getting sleepy. Watch the beer. You don't have to sacrifice taste to stay in the game. Miller Lite, always brewed to have more taste and be less filling. Miller Lite, hold true. Celebrity Sweat takes you behind the scenes to see how your favorite athletes and celebrities train. Hi, me, Van der Holyfield, and you're watching Celebrity Sweat. Hey, I'm Jason Priestley, and you're watching Celebrity Sweat. Yo, this is Terry Crews, and you're watching Celebrity Sweat. Learn from the pros. Check out recipes and training techniques at csweat.com. Get motivated, inspire others, and jumpstart your workouts and healthy lifestyle today. Celebrity Sweat provides high energy workouts, training tips, celebrity fitness secrets, and recipes from the stars. Go to csweat.com today. It's been an incredible day with these amazing pilots. Yo, what's up, guys? It's your boy Brandon Michael Smith, and we're hanging out with Celebrity Sweat. I'm Chris Humphries, and you're watching Celebrity Sweat. Hey, this is Flex Alexander. I'm Shanice. And, and you're, you're watching, watching Celebrity Sweat. Celebrity Sweat. Follow us on social media and check out csweat.com. All right, well, Steve Garvey may enter himself in the game here. They need runs, and they need a good bat to help them come back from a 12-6 to deficit to Team Canseco. Well, unlike Jose Canseco, uh, Steve is not the player manager. He's just the manager, so we haven't seen him take a swing. Jose's taken three long swings, three home runs, driven in seven of the 12 runs, and there are now two outs away. Winning Man, this game. What a great catch. Yeah, Walt Dakins. Walt Dakins is showing, showing off some uh, some ability. As I said, this is a secondary guy. He's got to have quick hands, and that ball goes up in the air. Tip drill, things like that. And, uh, sure. We saw Canseco pull one up off the turf earlier in the game, you, just you, like that. You know, this team is probably not going to win here, saying Tim Garvey, but Shane Batty cannot go 0 for 3 with three strikeouts. He's got to. He had a strikeout swing, and then he had the foul tip that was kept by the catcher. And he fouls that one back. Too much pride here in Shane. I'm already hearing it on Twitter. Too much pride. Come on, Shane. I'm actually going to be the broadcaster rooting for the guy to hit yeah. the ball. Please. Come on, Shane. Oh, boy. Not to be. Not to be. A rough afternoon for Shane Battier. You know, that is two outs. And right now, Team Garvey down to its last out. The good thing for Shane, he didn't strike out in free agency. You know, the Heat front office was trying to get Gordon Hayward. They, they, that was their one strikeout. He went to Boston. But they re-signed Dion, JJ, get Kelly Olnick. So he's a, he had a pretty good week. He was three for four this week. We're not going to mention the 0 for three in this game. No pressure, though. No pressure. So they're down to their last out in a 12-6 ball game here at Barry University in Miami. Falls on Jarvis. Jarvis Landry. Maybe inspired by Jose Canseco hitting a couple over his head out in left field. Well, if he hits one to Hassan, again, it's an inside the park home run. He's going in that direction, but Boy, he got he, a little bit too left center. Did he get it? He got a lot on it. 
And oh, that's going to fall, but Jarvis didn't run right away. I'm not sure if he thought it was an out, but then again, they, well, you got to run. They need a lot of out. They need a lot of runs, so he slow down. Oh, oh, oh. And he's still going to be able to turn this into an inside the park home run as he stops. Wait a minute, stop short. Oh, well, I, th I think he's thinking if I there go to third, maybe six times and score six times while the ball lays out there, can we tie the game on one swing? I like the thinking there. So Jarvis, yes, a nice pose after that one. Jarvis has got to learn to run right after he hits it, no matter what's going to happen. Yeah, I think Jarvis, I don't know if he was just uh, just enjoying it, but it sounded Trent Land here with two outs. And Land singles up the middle. Hassan was snapping, I think, out in center. He didn't even see the ball hit. And he's going to dig for second and maybe even third. This will be close. Stay there. You're down five. So he turned a single into a triple. Oh, he's going to score again with a bad throw. And nobody's paying attention, and that will be an inside the park home run. And all of a sudden, we've got a ball game. Two out rally, two runs so far. Jarvis an inside the park home run. Land hits that one. It's four runs with two outs. It's still going to be very, very tough, but they've got a chance. Neville Hewitt trying to keep going. Here's Hewitt. That's a strike, isn't it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I don't know if Neville wants to take too many here. You got to swing that bat. Neville Hewitt uh, could be the last out of this game. You got to swing that bat. And Hewitt. How about that? Final single hole. Single into left field. Boy, Hassan wants nothing to do with it. Nothing to do with it. And the rally continues as Neville sneaks into second base. Still two outs here in the top of the fifth inning. I think the only way the Garvey team has a shot, though, is if they can get a couple on and Jose puts on a blue uniform and comes up, then they maybe maybe they can tie this game up. <laughs> I don't know if they can keep getting this single, single, single. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see if they can do it. And Trell roll. I see Trell has some sort of a wrist issue going because he's got the cast or something on that hand, on that right hand. On that right hand, and this one lifted into shallow left field, and it falls for a hit. The run soon. scores, and now it's 12 to 9. I may have spoken too soon. We got a two out rally, three runs with two outs and nobody on. Look at Garvey. Garvey saying, just keep the train going, keep the train going. Cassie's got the ice. Uh, is Cassie going to come up here? He's got the ice. So Cassie coming up. He can hit it a long way. We know that. Just got to get on, though. Just got to keep this little, they could keep this little train going, finding a hole here, finding the hole there. They, they could maybe muster out a couple more runs. I think the umpire may have called the strike on him there. He's got the old running start swing. Yes. It's a good technique in softball sometimes. There it and is. That's right to Jose. And that's your ball game. As Jose Canseco makes the final out. Not fitting that he does. After a three-home run so afternoon, Kazzi got a hold of one, but hit it to the wrong place. And Jose Canseco finishes off the game as Team Canseco has defeated Team Garvey here in the Celebrity Softball Challenge. A lot of fireworks in this game today, Will. Courtesy of Jose Canseco, you know, we talked in the pregame about what this was all about, coming for charity, coming to see some guys locally, Heat players, Dolphin players, NFL players. But I think if you were coming, you were also hoping to see Jose Canseco hit a home run. Well, not only did you see him get a home run, you saw him hit three home runs, and he also hit one during the home run derby. So I think the fans that came out today, for a good cause, got their money's worth. We did as well, Tom, enjoying this game, seeing Canseco do the damage. No question. 12 runs, 14 hits, well, there was the one error. Yeah, Jose, you hit you hit three home runs, you take pictures with the fans. That's what he's doing now. Taking pictures of the fan, Hassan, Dion, Jarvis, taking pictures, having fun as well. Uh, these guys, you can tell. What I loved about today, Tom, too, is that these guys had a good time. You can tell they, they really enjoyed being out here. They were smiling, choking. Outside of a Jack's hammy injury, he texted me. He said he's out six to eight weeks with a uh, strained mm -hmm. hamstring. So Jax will be back for heat training camp. Jason Jackson, wow, that's a tough injury. Yeah, he says it's hurting a little bit. Got the flat tire. <laughs> Uh, but we're hoping he's okay. And, and Cassie took one to the head. We're hoping he's yeah. okay. He stayed in the game, so we think he's going to be fine. Well, they produced, though. They had themselves a couple of good afternoons for those two guys. As, uh, 
Boy, the fans certainly enjoyed the afternoon here today. And, of course, as you mentioned, the players having a lot of fun as well. Yeah, a lot of smiles. And uh, Jose was the star of the game. Star of the game, the charities as well. And these guys, we appreciate these guys coming out here. It really was a great cause and a great opportunity for them to have some fun. All-Star Weekend, we got some All-Stars this weekend in town for baseball. Mm -hmm. We got an All-Star show today. And, of course, 12-9, to nine, the final score, Team Canseco defeating Team Garvey. An eventful afternoon. Of course, Canseco, not only the three home runs in the game, but also added another one in our impromptu home run derby about halfway through, which was also fun to watch. Yeah, it was a good time. We all had a good time. We put on a good show, and we got a... Uh, we got a sound white, so we got all these guys smiling still. All right, let's head down to Jake, and he's got some of the winners. Hey guys, I'm down here with Sip and Mafio. Guys, you guys pulled the win off. How do you feeling? Hey, we feel good. What did I, I don't know if they had it on record, but we said we we're gonna come back and win the ninth, and we did it. You have it on record, and you guys played well. How you no, but not for sure. I feel a little bit better than wonderful, but. But the thing is that we said it. We just, you know, in the first inning, we were like, you know, they can have it. Go ahead. Yeah, have fun. That's cute. And then we came back, and, you know, and we, we did it. Let them have their fun, and then at the end, you guys got to play for real? Hey, you know what? It's all about, it's not how you start sometimes, it's how you finish. And that's what we did today. I'm just happy to be a winner. I plan on doing this today and everything I do in life. So this win is just, you know, adding to the, adding to the collage. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you already know. And we have fun. Uh, we want to thank everybody that, that came out here. And, and like, we're really blessed. We're truly blessed to be here. Well, we had an unbelievable time watching you guys. Again, congrats on the win, guys. And we'll see you next year. Yeah, for sure. Uh, see you there. Guys, back to you. All right, a couple of happy, victorious members of Team Can't Say I give Jonathan Sipper, I give him everything on that one because Sip said, you know, we're going to come back and you're not going to look at each other and say it's 6-3. The way these guys are hitting right now, I don't think they're coming back. All they did was drop a nine spot in the bottom of the fourth, win the game. Of course, it helps when you have Jose Canseco on your side, certainly. But uh, Well, they trailed 3-1 at one point, came back, tied the game. Team Garvey took the 6-3 lead, and that's when the floodgates opened for Team Canseco with, of course, you mentioned that nine run bottom of the fourth inning, which featured the two home runs from yeah. the man himself, Jose Canseco. Six of the nine in that inning came courtesy of Jose Canseco swings. So he got those two home runs, uh, gets the big blast. We're waiting actually on Jose to hope to grab Jose if we can, because he was the star of this game. Jose, though, has been busy since the end of the game. Uh, there are a lot of fans around, and he's taking pictures. and Signing autographs. Yeah, he put up a show today. If you, like, again, if you came to see this game today, uh, you came for many reasons, but I think one of them was to say you saw Jose Canseco hit a home run. So, All right, let's head down to Jake, who's got Jose Canseco. Jake? All right, well, Jose Canseco obviously is spending some time, as of course he should, with the fans and signing the autographs and taking pictures and uh, obviously uh, basking in the glory of these three home runs he hit he today. Let, he let his bat do the talking. Well, what an afternoon. Thank you for watching the 13th annual Celebrity Softball Challenge where the final score was Team Canseco 12, Team Garvey 9. For Will Manso and our entire crew, I'm Tom James. Thanks for watching. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports.